Hello once again and welcome to another episode of Darth Tuba's Star Wars Unboxing Show. I'm your host Darth Tuba. Check out all my videos on my Darth Tuba channel as well as my Darth Tuba unboxing page on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter at Darth Tuba and email me darthtuba77 at gmail.com. We are, as you can see, ready for once again another Smuggler's Bounty. I gotta say I'm really in love with the subscription box idea. Uh, I will say I'm not 100% sure when it comes to Smuggler's Bounty if I'm going to continue it, but we shall see, because on the one hand, you know, there's only so many Funko Pops that I can display, and then on the other hand, you can never have too many Funko Pops, so uh, I'm excited to see where they go with it. Um, you know, I do like it. I don't collect any other um, properties other than Funko Pop, and I don't collect them all. I pretty much just stick to Smuggler's Bounty as well as the occasional other items that might come you know characters that i like and that type of thing but why don't we get right to it because when we're done with this i actually have a little special bonus unboxing that i'm going to do at the end of this video so stay tuned as we go through this all right so again this came out a little while ago i was on vacation so i wasn't able to open it right away so some of you if you've seen other shows you might have already seen it but it looks like we are i think it's a droid theme because we have a, and again, I'll get you close-ups of these at the end. We have a battle droid pin. And then we have a C-3PO. This is a droids patch with C-3PO in the center. And an R2, I believe R2-D2 kind of off to the side or an R2 unit anyway. And then, ooh, looks like we got another shape. Let's see. Open this up and see what it is. Looks like the shirt. Oh, that's cute. All right, looks like it's, um, I'm thinking it's a Funko Pop version of R2 and BB-8 showing the map to Luke Skywalker. How awesome is that as we are getting ready to see and Go crazy over The Last Jedi. Ooh. Hmm. Okay. And we have two exclusives. We have the C-3PO from Episode 1. The pre-coverings C-3PO. That is cool. And I'll tell you why. Because I think since the Disney acquisition, I have not seen, at first anyway, an extensive amount of love for the prequels and I've said this before and I know that there are people who disagree and everyone's entitled to their opinion but I said it before I am NOT a prequel hater by any means I love the prequels I respect them for what they are for what George Lucas wanted in terms of his uh, his vision did I like every single waking moment every frame of film no I did not but I didn't like every frame of film of the original trilogy or The Force Awakens or Rogue One. Okay, there are things that I would have probably done differently as a story, but minor things. And for one, for the most part, I would say 95%, including Jar Jar, I loved the prequels. And I still, th and I rank um, Phantom Menace as one of my all-time favorites. Uh, the C-3PO character was minimally used in the in the film. He just basically had a, a glorified cameo. But I did love seeing him in the um, unfinished, you know, what do you mean, naked uh, parts. Not quite there. So that's really cool. So kudos, Funko Pop, for the C-3PO. Um, the C-3PO without the covering. Okay, and then we have the R5-D4. So it's nice. I mean, it's a cool, uh, it's, it's kind of a random selection, what you get, you know, right? You don't know what you're going to get. But um, I'm not 100% sure, to be honest with you, if everybody, you know, having only opened my own, it's hard for me to know whether or not uh, everybody got these two, because they are Funko Pop exclusive. But the R5-D4 um, droid is really cute. And some people call it R5-D4 the savior of Star Wars because if he hadn't, um, if R5-D4 hadn't, de you know, had a bad motivator, then essentially the droids would have been separated and who knows if Luke 
and C3PO by themselves would have been able to um, go on the rest of the adventure without R2. Who knows if R2 would have escaped? So we owe a lot in the story to this little guy right here. All right, good job, R5. Hope you're my motivator to working again. All right, so in fact, I think there was a. I think if you listen to the Star Wars radio drama, by the way, I've said this before, awesome, awesome, awesome. Get it, you can get it. I think you can find it on iTunes. You can probably find uh, in, in a lot of different places. The Star Wars radio drama, um, a great 13 part, I think the original one for the for Star Wars A New Hope, 13 parts, 13 half hour episodes. There was a lot of backstory that they went into leading up to, like, I think the first two episodes didn't even touch on what we know from the start of the movie. It happened before the movie. It was really, really cool. It doesn't really line up with the whole Rogue One thing per se, but still it was unique at the time to hear it. But there was a moment in the scene where the sand the Jawas are trying to sell um, the droids to Luke and Uncle Owen that R2 was the one who actually went over to R5D4 and, you know, played with his motivator so it would burst in an effort to try to sabotage that purchase so they would so and then 3PO took the cue and said, Oh well that that, that R2 unit is in prime condition. So cool idea the radio drama is not canon so yeah I, I, I don't think it's something that actually happened but it is still fun so that is our almost our show for the you know for the uh, the um, Star Wars smugglers bounty but I have to go off a little bit here now and I have a, a special unboxing it is not Star Wars okay if you were to take a look around this room and rooms you would see that I am a Star Wars fan, a big Star Wars fan. And you would not really see, aside from I think a handful of Indiana Jones figures, both old and new, because I'm essentially, I look at Indiana Jones as a close cousin of Star Wars, I do not have literally any other items save for one thing. And that is this. And this is the Batman classic TV series Batman action figure. For all, for everybody knows, Adam West, uh, the, vo the voice, well he was the voice of Batman, but the actor who played the role of Batman in the classic TV series passed away recently. I've had the good fortune of meeting Adam West, not once, not twice, but three times. And um, again, in a fan-based situation, uh, the first was actually when I was in college there was right when bat there was a resurge in the batman popularity because of the michael keaton movie with jack nicholson that came out and it had come out right before i graduated high school so when i went to college that first year um they were running an activity where they showed the old batman 1966 film and adam west came to this event to do a q a and he was fantastic and funny as anything and very nice and very friendly and uh, I had asked a couple of questions at the Q&A, which he answered. Um, and then afterwards, I had gotten a poster signed, and he, you know, looked at me and he was like, oh, you asked really good questions, and, you know, to a fanboy like me that was like, oh my God, he remembered me. Ah. So that was a really cool moment. Okay. Yes, it wasn't Star Wars. So for those that are non-Star Wars fans, I apologize. Or that are Star Wars fans, saying, what is he doing here? But just let me, let me, you know, finish here. Uh, second time was at a photo op. You know, one of these conventions where you go and you line up and you take a picture. I took a picture with both Adam West and Burt Ward together, and that was really fun. This was something prior to Star Wars. This was kind of a precursor for me. The Batman show had been running in syndication on TV. I always watched it. My brother and I always watched it. We had, at the time, we had the little action figure that the Mego Batman and Robin figures, and that was our big thing. And we had a little Batmobile. And we were really into that Batman. Now, I recognize to those that are the fans of the comics that this was not, um, you know, meant to be an accurate depiction of the comic book Batman. That was more dark, more sinister. They have since done more with the Batman movies like that, as particularly Batman Begins, Dark Knight, that type of thing. I like them. I think they're okay. Um, but uh, but for me, this will always be my Batman, and Adam West will always be my Batman. So to Adam West, wherever you are, 
you know, thank you for all the years of enjoyment and for being such a, uh, a friend to the fans. We saw him one more time just last year at a convention. He and uh, Burt Ward were speaking. And funny thing enough, um, we were staying in a hotel, my wife, my daughter, and I, and we were out having breakfast the next morning, and there he was, like two booths down from us, eating breakfast. I didn't say hi to him. I'm half regretting it, half not. I've seen him enough. I've met him enough. Um, I didn't want to disturb him while he was having breakfast. But, you know, it just seems like our paths have crossed multiple times in my life. So um, we're going to do a quick unboxing, um, the action figure. I'm not a, the figure itself, um, it's, it's kind of cool. I'm a little bit disappointed in the, the you know, the, this is kind of like the torso thing going on that I'm like kind of trying to figure out. But uh, that's interesting. Oh, it comes with a card. Oh, that's cool. Put that aside. Oh, I like this. I think it's like a. I think it's maybe. This looks like it might be meant to be a. I wonder if this is meant to be some type of a. Is it like a thing like that? I don't know. I'm trying to figure out what this is. I don't know. Looks like it. I don't know. Well, let me take the figure out. Okay. Doesn't really come with any accessories. It's just the. It's just the uh, the cape, the cowl. Uh, it looks like this particular brand they had um, they had a uh, basically just Batman, Robin. I think the Joker, uh, the Riddler, <laughs> Catwoman, the Penguin. They actually didn't even have Robin. I don't think, but um, they had Surf's Up Batman, where he was in his Bermuda shorts, which I thought was hysterical. But, um, so put this guy, he's got the same little bottom, is it both feet? Yeah, it looks like that's good. He's got the little POW action figure. So, Adam West, Adam West Batman, I should say, will be displayed proudly amongst all of the Star Wars figures because he was the precursor, he deserves to have that place in the sun. So, still not sure what this is though. I think that might just have been a way to protect the uh, protect the figure. So, anyway, that will do it for another episode. Oh, well, actually, before I do that, let's just quickly take a look at the card. It's kind of cool. Oh, it's like an old. It's like a copy, I think, of an old card. Although it says it doesn't give a year, but it looks like it's a card and then like a picture of like a puzzle piece. Anybody, anybody who's collected. Um, non-sports trade, trading cards growing up there would be the card and you flip it on the back and there would be part of a, like a puzzle piece and you try to get the whole puzzle together so a cool thing I think what I'll do is for this I'll just keep this in the back maybe or maybe not but or I'll just put that away anyway <laughs> so anyway so thank you so much again check out YouTube channel check out Facebook check you know on, on Darth Tuba's on Star Wars unboxing page check out uh, Twitter and Instagram at Darth Tuba email Darth Tuba 77 at gmail.com thank you so much we will see you next time may the force be with you but we will see you next time same bat time same bat channel <laughs>